Okay. So um, they told me not to drink before I came on the stage. <laughs> but ho hopefully all of you are drinking. All right, Julie, let's roll. Okay, so I've worked in franchising at Choice Hotels, where I started the revenue management function, and at IHG, where I am privileged to lead an awesome team of awesome revenue managers, about 200 of them, that deliver value to their hotels every single day. So how do we do this? Well, what you may not know about the franchise estate is that it's not just about the economy hotels and the mid-scale hotels. Franchising is now also in upscale hotels and even in luxury hotels. This means revenue managers have to be able to handle hotels in different brands and different types of markets. Some of those markets may have demand drivers and rate opportunities that are very, very different. And the revenue managers have to be able to leverage every opportunity that that brings to them. They may have high competition, or they could be in a market where their hotel is the only hotel in town. The markets could be growing, and that gives them more opportunities. Or they could be shrinking, and they're trying to hold on to every bit of revenue that they can. On nights where they're busy, they can use all of their revenue management levers, but there may be some hotels that rarely sell out, and they've got to really dig deep. The hotels could have a mix of business that the revenue managers can actively manage, or some hotels may be in markets where they're really dependent on the business that walks through their door every night. This can result in a shorter booking window very often, uh, and more last minute bookings where it's a little bit more difficult to forecast ahead, and even more important that you get that pricing right every single day. So, uh, what is not different about revenue management in the franchise estate? Well, we all, all have the same levers, uh, but the difference is that you may not be able to use all of those levers on every single day. But on every day, you still have to price right, and that's the, uh, the same across all hotels. So in a multi-hotel um, environment, revenue managers are uh, managing hotels of varying different brands and varying different markets. It's rare to have an on-property dorm, so normally a revenue manager has multiple hotels that they have to switch between. This means they have to be really, really good. They have to be the best revenue managers. And when we're hiring revenue managers, we're looking for their ability, not just their revenue management skills, but their ability to flex and be nimble when they're switching between different hotels and needing different strategies. They also have to have great communication skills. Most of it, they're doing it over the phone. So that means they've got to be able to connect with people. This person might need to see charts and numbers. This person might be a more visual learner. They may have people who want them to get to the point quickly, and others where they need to take a little bit more time to get there. So they really have to hone their selling and their influence skills. In the franchise world, we don't dictate strategies. We may have some brand standards and some guidelines, but we still have to win people over. We have to explain the strategy and show them that we're on the same page as them, and that's how we do it. We have to build relationships. Relationships are key to everything in business, right? First of all, you have to build the trust, the confidence, and once you've done that, now you can start to get people to work together to get things done, and that's when the magic happens. So when the magic happens, we're using all of our tools to their absolute fullest. Our revenue managers have to know how to get the best out of the tools. They are not going to be able to go build a spreadsheet to go you know, evaluate a strategy. We need the tools and the reporting to take them straight to the answer take them to what is actually driving performance for that hotel. And I think someone said this earlier, you can never, ever stop learning. The world is changing, revenue management is changing, distribution is changing, and the revenue managers have got to be learning every single day's, day of their career. They also have to understand their owners and the owner value proposition and 
why the owner economics could be driving the thought process of the people at the hotel. That's how they connect to the people that they're going to work with. And we have to design programs that also work for our owners um, with a good ROI. That means that everything we do has to be measurable and it has to deliver results. Results that are sustainable over time where the owner can see that money they're paying for our service every month is easily covered by the additional revenues that they're getting from our services. So we have to be cost efficient. We need our tools and systems to help us in this so that we can deliver revenue management in that multi-hotel portfolio, allowing a franchise hotel owner access to revenue management without having to pay a full revenue manager's salary. So this means we want to be using our BI tools. I like to think about this as the fish finder. You don't go fishing in the ocean and go fish here, fish there, fish there, and see if there happen to be any fish. You use your tools to see where the fish are and you go right to them. So when we put this together, we, you know, when I started in this business looking at how we could bring revenue management to a franchise estate, we'd already proven in the big box hotels that revenue managers were easily worth their salary. Well now, here we are a decade later, and we're able to show that with the right people, the right tools, and the right revenue services, we can deliver value to hotels every day in a way that is cost effective to them. That's it. <laughs> Thank you.